I'm very tired, okay? Don't judge me. Hey, stop! Oh, I want to come up with a voice for this guy. I found these fossils. They're both mine. That's, that's this guy's voice from now on. Super Nerd Miguel. Yeah, that's the, that's Super Nerd Miguel's voice. Yeah, mate. We'll see. Oh, that's not good. Is that the last one? No, no, no. Let's see how good your Voltorb does against my Pikachu. Isn't Voltorb an electric type? I'm a bit dumb. So, uh, f funny thing happened. Um, I forgot to save. And now I'm back here. <laughs> So I'm gonna go beat the beat Brock again, and um, I guess I'll be right back. So here's something dumb that happened. I caught a Kakuna, and then my Weedle evolved into a Kakuna. I can't believe you've done this. So I feel stupid. And now Caterpie's evolving too. <laughs> Come on, man. I literally did not save and now everything is happening. I caught a Metapod earlier as well. I can't believe you've done this. I went back to catch everything because I'd saved when I didn't have anything and now now everything's just evolving into those things that I, ca that I caught. Oh my god. Yeah, see, that's the Kakuna that I just caught, and everybody leveled up. Can't believe this. Okay, this Brock's gym done. Let's just get out of here. I have had it with fighting that guy. I've saved as well, which I forgot to do. So I had to go through all that again. And then my Pokemon decided to evolve at really stupid times. Oh, what do you want? I've just left. Wait. I didn't heal, did I? Last Janeth. Yeah, no, I didn't I did not heal. I've just sent an Oddish out against an Oddish. This is gonna go well, isn't it? What does growth even do? Right. You can absorb me, I'll absorb you, you doofus. I'm gonna send in Remy. Because Remy knows just any basic attack move pretty much, yeah. I might as well teach it headbutt at this point. Bro, are you copying me? Are you copying me, last Janice? By the way, for anyone who questions why I used growth, um, just don't, don't worry about it. Are you gonna keep absorbing me? This is gonna be a very long fight. This is not helping. Just die. There's no point using quick attack, because it's just a quicker, less effective version of tackle, but I'm faster than this thing anyway, so what would be the point? Well, now I'm just going to take it out, because she keeps using growth. I mean, who keeps using growth if you're not going to use an attack after it? Gosh, man. You need to up your Pokemon battling game. I'm gonna go back and heal now, because, um... Oh, I mean, am I? Oh, oh, oh. That's how you end a Pokemon battle, by calling someone mean. Take my Pokemon. Pikachu just hops on there. Good old Stanley. I want to see how this guy's going to walk. Oh, look at that. Pogo stick. He's very slow, though. 
We're gonna switch him for um, Flapper. That's not what I. That's not what I intended to do. There you go. And I have a little bird following me. Oh, okay. Got, just got some Pokeballs. There's just some Pokeballs just lying on the floor, because that's normal. Oh, you're a new trainer? I'm a coach trainer. Coach trainers are the ones who stand in various places to train trainers. I'm one of them. We coach trainers are strong, if I do say so myself. Want to try your strength? You should definitely battle us. Yeah, not right now, mate. Right, there's a Pokeball here. I'm just going to collect it. Is that a potion? Cool. Hello. Hey, my shorts are cool, right? You could stare at them. Uh, I'd rather not. I'd rather not stare at your shorts, youngster Calvin. You weirdo. Got a Spearow. Nice. Stanley's gonna assault a Spearow. I also made it so Stanley has spiky hair. Yeah, that's what I thought. So yeah, you could just make it so, um... Your Pokemon of Spike, uh, you, you can make it so your partner has hairstyles. So if you're playing uh, Let's Go Eevee, you can do that as well. Well, you gotta do, you gotta take the switch into handheld mode and then go on like partner play, and um, you just you just um, stroke them with two fingers. Camper Victor has his need around mail. Nice. I don't know what this thing can do. Well, it's clearly not affected by double kick. I don't know why I went for double kick, honestly. And it knows peck for some reason. Because it's clearly not a flying type. As it is, as it is standing on the ground. And has no means of getting off the ground, pretty much. Poison sting. Okay, let's, uh... That makes more sense. Nice. Leveling up. Leveling up well. Done like dinner. Indeed. Hello. No, I didn't push you. I don't even know why I did battle with you. You just be out of here, picnic or robin. Oh, you've got you've got a mini around female, have you? Well, we've just dealt with the male version. I'm sure, this one will be the same. Except now it's blue. I don't think Nidoran has a tail. Didn't look like it had a tail, anyway. Jesus, man. Next thing you know, we're gonna have... Uh, some sort of Pokémon without teeth using... Bite. Thunder Lure. I'm gonna catch the Spearow. So then I can evolve it into Fero. Eventually. I'm not gonna do it now, because... Because reasons. Would you stay still? Nice. Excellent throw. Got a Spiro. Okay. What about it? What of it? On level 10. Put a freeze at level 7. I think that's when, uh, that's when Caterpie evol evolves. So. Oh, crap. I was going to read the description then. Hello, mate. I want to battle you. Hey, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Okay. Wow, you're wearing shorts too. Yeah, well spotted. I am wearing shorts. Youngster Ben with his flipping ratata. Send out Stanley with his new haircut. I'm gonna use quick attack. Okay, that did three damage. 
Yeah, mate, that's what I thought. <laughs> Nobody can best Stanley. Except that Onyx, I mean, it did take me out, but still. Really? Oh, I ran straight into that one. Literally. Bug catcher Greg. Gregory from FNAF. <laughs> Mate's got a cocooner. Wonder if this will take it out in one. Flapper found something in the plants. Got a nana berry. I don't even know what that does. And what do we got over here? More Spiro. In the grass. Got a revive. Nice. Now I can save people from dying. Hugh, just taking a little rest here. The tunnel from C Cerulean City takes a lot out of you. Okay. Is this tunnel somewhere where I need to go? Because I don't really feel like walking through tunnels. Ouch, I tripped over a geodude lying on the ground. <laughs> Sounds like a you problem. Got an escape rope. Uh, I know that's handy for caves. I came to Mount Moon from far away because I want a Pokemon I can ride on. That's right, you can ride on certain Pokemon like Onyx. I'm going to catch an Onyx now. Now that, now that I know this. This information should not have been foretold to me. Now Onyx is just going to be with me the rest of the game. I'll probably get rid of uh, like Kakuna or Remy. Something like that. You sir. A Magikarp for five hundred dollars? Okay. <laughs> you paid an outrageous five hundred dollars and bought a Magikarp. Okay. Thank you though. Famous for being very unreliable, it can be found swimming in seas, lakes, rivers, and shallow puddles. How the hell do you swim in a shallow puddle? Outrageous five hundred dollars for a Magikarp, I think not. I'm gonna put put it her in the party. We're gonna level it up. I'm gonna change your name to Fishy Boy, even though you're a girl. Showing that I do not discriminate, Fishy Boy. Fishy, uh, Fishy Boy. Nice. Right now, Fishy Boy is coming with us. Also, I saw Meowth on the roof. I mean, they they said about Team Rocket, didn't they? Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna have to bring back my Team Rocket voices. Looks like there's nothing here. Then let's just search farther in. Oh god. You, you were eavesdropping on us just now, weren't you? Yes. Meowth, you were supposed to be keeping watch. Dear god. Meow. <laughs> we know there's rare fossils buried in here somewhere. If you've got any, you'd better hand them over to us, twerp. That's right. If anyone is going to profit off those rare fossils, it's us. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Strange, strange people. What do we got? Potion? Nice. Got a zoo bat? I don't really feel like catching a zoo bat. Dang it. Thought I could get thought I could get past this one. There are suspicious characters lurking around in the caves. And you are Yeah, that'll be Team Rocket, mate. And if you haven't noticed, I'm not dressed like I'm not dressed like I'm from Team Rocket. Bugcatcher Kent. What's a bug catcher doing in a cave? You and your butterfree. I do like the music for the battles. It is good music. Yeah, my Butterfree also knows confusion for some reason. Didn't take Butterfree for a psychic type. And conf confusion's a pretty decent move as well. Nice. Leveling up. I mean, it's not as if Stanley's ever going to evolve, but, you know, leveling up is nice as well. Double team? Nah, I don't really feel like you know double team. Beat the bug catcher. Watch out for them suspicious characters now, my boy. Did I just hear something spawn? Because I really want to catch an onyx. You read my mind. 
encountered a wild onyx. Okay, well, I'm gonna swap two great balls. And give it a berry. And we'll see how this goes. That went well, didn't it? Great. Oh well, great's fine, right? Come on, Onyx. I will train you to be better than Brock's Onyx if if you let me catch you. Well, that didn't go so well, but still. I will catch this Onyx. I'm not leaving until I do. It's gonna be the next Bulbasaur. Oh, come on, Nate. I'm running out of Great Balls. Really? I think I need like an excellent throw to get this, but Onyx is too tall. Thank you. Finally. I don't think I'm going to name Onyx anything, I think I'll just keep it as Onyx. And I think I'll change Remy for Onyx. Sure, you can You can have Quick Attack. Uh, actually, these are pretty good moves. Sand Attack? Sure, you can get rid of Sand Attack. Where's a flying type got a ground type move? What's that gonna do? Not gonna be very great, is it? Onyx's data. It burrows at high speed in search of food. The tunnels it leaves are used as homes by Diglett. Oh, okay. So does that mean Diglett's cave in this game is made by Onyx, or what? And now we can ride on Onyx. There we go. Pretty nice, pretty nifty. But that does mean we're probably going to get spotted very easily by trainers. Alright, Onyx to do with a bit of leveling up now. A bell sprout. What's so great about a bell sprout? Just look at his face. Oh god. Oh well, it was a critical hit, it's fine. Stanley, you haven't got great moves against this thing, have you? Well, I'm hoping another Thundershock will take it out, but I'm not so sure. Well, that worked. Goodbye, Bellsprout. Yes, you lost. Get over it. It's like when you beat half these trainers, they were like, I lost? What? Hello, Paris. Don't think you noticed, but I didn't mean to run into you. But, you know, I suppose I'll get you. Just go to catch him while I'm alright. There we go. Onyx is leveling up. I don't think Onyx doesn't turn into Steelix in this one, so. Yeah, there's gonna be no point hoping that Onyx is gonna evolve. Burrows underground to gnaw on tree roots. The mushrooms on its back absorb most of the nutrition. Well, that makes sense. They are, like, massive. They're gonna need a lot of nutrition, aren't they? Jesse, what do you want? Yeah, you're a pretty fast kid. Nice. 
Our link screwed to level 7, yada yada yada. I forget, forgot to read the description again. Yes, I know you're lost. Thanks for pointing it out to me. Yikes, quit following us. No, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep following you. It's like impossible to get an excellent throw when they move around. It sucks. Caught a Zubat. See, hmm. Zubat's just not great. Emits ultrasonic cries when it flies. They act as a sonar used to check for objects in its way. Well, it's basically just a real bat. Medicine bucket. Aha! Dodging skills. Aren't those dark colored things fossils? Alright, Meowth, go get those fossils. Meow. Meow to you too. I can just sneak on past, you know? I'm gonna heal, actually. I need to give Stanley some potions. Let us continue. Is that a Clefairy? I'll catch a Clefairy. Hello, Clefairy. How do I evolve you again? Don't, don't I need a Moonstone to evolve you? What happened there? I flicked my wrist with all of my power. How is that not an excellent throw? Excuse me. Oh, you're starting to move around now, are you? Come on. Right. I'm doing this literally just to fill out the Pokedex. Why'd you gotta be so difficult? Yeah. Onyx is leveling up quite nicely. Magikarp seems to be leveling up terribly. That's to be expected. Adored for their cute looks and playfulness. They are thought to be rare as they do not appear often. Good. Glad I caught one then. Whoa. I thought a Pokemon spawned in front of me, um, but, I, but, but I saw myself on Onyx's head. Hey, whoa, anyway. Almost had to catch another one. Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. Well... Hmm. <laughs> that, uh... That comment did not seem alright. Send out a zoo bat. Oh, how easily do you reckon I can annihilate this zoo bat? Nice. Okay, let's go. I'm very tired, okay? Don't judge me. Hey, stop! Oh, I want to come up with a voice for this guy. I found these fossils. They're both mine. That's, that's this guy's voice from now on. 
Super Nerd Miguel. Yeah, that's the, that's Super Nerd Miguel's voice. Oh, we're in the vault, so I'll be giving it absolutely destroy this man now, Yeah, mate, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how good your Vault Orb does against my Pikachu. Isn't Vault Orb an electric type? I'm a bit dumb. Light screen. What's light screen gonna do? I'm about to use fighting type moves because that's the only other move I ever use. Nice. It's a good one though. That was a nice animation for Voltal then doing his flipping circus act with his backflips and whatnot. I might send in Onyx. Then again, Onyx is a bit underleveled. Magnemite? We'll be good against Magnemite. I'm gonna send in Onyx. Alrighty then, go Onyx, am I right? Miguel has sent out a Magnemite. Rock throw, because... That's all Brock's Onyx seemed to do. Oh dear. <sighs> oh, it's a steel type. What does Bind do? Oh, whoops. Nice, I've basically just put it in a wrap. Magnemite was squeezed. Uh huh. Hmm. Okay, you're confused. Let's see, who have we got to our, in our arsenal? God, the size on that Onyx, man. Tackle! Nice. Let me absorb you, Magnemite. Stop confusing my Pokemon, dude. Oh, is Bind not working anymore? For God's sake. You're gonna use Thundershock? Great, great. I'm still doing only three damage to me. But I'm paralyzed, so that's great. Lovely. Oh, Shrek, mate! Why are you, why are you like this? Ugh. So, I just became unconfused, so you're gonna confuse me again. I mean, it's a good plan, I suppose, but still, it's very annoying. Right, I'm switching out. My god. Flapper, please save us. Please save us. Ready then. Let's just tackle this thing back. Oh, that's not very effective, is it? Okay, cool. That's not effective either. Mate, I'm gonna I'm gonna see what mirror move is about. Oh, okay, exactly what I thought it was like. Jesus Christ, man! Very nice. We're all leveling up. Okay, oh shit. I'm gonna take my fossils now. Fine, we'll each take a fossil. It's no good being greedy, right? Okay, which one's the helix fossil and which one's the dome fossil? Yes, I want the helix fossil because I'll get attacked by Poketips. <laughs> Poketips Mike will attack me if, if I choose the dome fossil. Because in his words, the dome fossil's for peasants. Stop right! 
my dear! That fossil belongs to us. <sighs> How did you even get here ahead of us? Uh, you stopped. We're Team Rocket. I'm Jesse. Ouch. And I'm James. Oh, I've hurt myself. And the two of us are going to take that fossil back. Okay. Sure, mate. Let's see how this goes, then. You are challenged by Team Rocket, Jesse, and James. She sends out an Ekans, and he's got a coughing. That's a pretty cool animation. Right. Let's uh, see what we got here. So I'm going to use Thundershock on the... Uh, Coughing. I'm gonna absorb the Ekans. And we'll see how this goes. Okay, not bad. Ooh, acid can be used on two people. Sweet. Shrek's, Shrek's still paralyzed. Okay, um. I'm gonna double kick Ekans. I'm gonna kick a snake in the face. And Atkins has just shown me that acid can be used on two people. It's probably not going to be great, though, because I think coughing is a poison type. Well, this is going well. You use acid. Shrek, could you use acid, please? Shrek, please. Please use acid. Okay. I'm switching out. No. I want you to Thundershock the Ekans. And Shrek, you switch out for... Uh, let's see. Butterfree. Switch out for Butterfree. And I'll use Confusion. Hopefully get someone confused. There we go. Stop using acid, you stupid rattle snake. It's really starting to annoy me now. But free the fact that you only know two moves is concerning to me. I'm gonna have to teach you some more. Cool, I got some paralysis. Oh, that's super effective, is it? Okay. I'll just do the same again, then. At least we've got no more acid-spitting snakes. That was very annoying. Cool, it's dead. It's now dead. And now... Stanley's level 15. And... Th Thunder Wave. Uh, what is Thunder Wave? Is Thunder Wave the one that just paralyzes people? Yeah, it is. I don't want to learn Thunder Wave. I don't really... It just, it like, just paralyzes people. Like, Thundershock's got a chance to paralyze people anyway, so... Sleep Powder? Uh, I think I'd... I'd rather have Poison Powder, honestly. I, I, I think I'll just leave it as it is. Keep old moves. You don't need Sleep Powder. We've got Poison. It's fine. Can't believe it. The twerp beat us? I haven't watched the show in so long, I've completely forgotten what these two fools sound like. Looks like two rockets blasting off. Oh, excuse me. Exasperated. I don't know what that means. Stanley looks exasperated, does he? What can I like poke your ears? Yeah, I can. Nice. So cute. Whoa, Clefairy! Hi. Can I leave the cave now? I want to go to the next gym. So I can end the episode.
Okay, Onyx, if you're gonna keep popping in and out like that... <sighs> I can't stop yawning! Paralyze heal. Uh, see, I would use that on Shrek, but we're like about to get to a Pokemon Center, so... I hope, anyway. Oh, can't go that way. What do we got over here? We got a Rattata. Hello. This is the bike shop. I'd love to, I'd love to buy a bike. Hello, sir. My bike collection is impressive, isn't it? I won't let you ride a bike or... I won't let you ride or buy one, but feel free to have a look. Okay, screw you. I wanted to buy myself a bike. I'm not happy about that. Pikachu, Pikachu what is it? Stanley, what what do you want? Throw money in the fountain? Okay, I'll throw 50. Well, Stanley looks happy, huh? Well, I'm glad I can make you happy, Stanley, but now I've just wasted $50. Can I walk in here? Isn't this where I can get a Bulbasaur? <gasps> oh my god, it is! I'm getting this Bulbasaur. If you've caught 30 Pokemon, come back and get Bulbasaur. How many have I caught? 16. Um, I might just go catch 14 random Pokemon and then come back to Bulbasaur. Because I want Bulbasaur. Yeah, let's go do that. I'm gonna go catch uh, any random stuff. That, any random uh, Pokemon that I can find. Uh... Onyx, I'm going to put you away for a minute. First, I might head to the Pokemon Center, though. <laughs> right, is there anyone in here who can trade? You there. You look like you can trade. Oh, hello. A marvelous move. Ooh! Zippy Zap! Yes, you may learn Zippy Zap. It's an electric-type move. Let's have a gander at what it does. The user attacks the target with bursts of electricity at high speed. This move always goes first and always results in a critical hit. Ooh. Well, Tail Whip's gotta go, so... Goodbye, Tail Whip. Learn Zippy Zap. Ooh, that's interesting. Build a marvelous relationship with your Pokémon, okay? I plan to, my friend. Right, let's have a look at um, who can trade. Why don't you trade with your friends? Because I don't have any friends, okay? I don't have any. I don't have any friends. <laughs> I'd like some friends to trade with, but I don't have any. Anyway. Ooh, that Bill. I heard he'll do anything just to get his hands on a rare Pokemon. Wouldn't anyone? Do you want to trade your Rattata for my Rattata? Yes. Remy, I'm sorry. Actually, no. I'm gonna go catch myself another Rattata, because I'm attached to Remy already. Have you heard about Bill? Everyone calls him a Pokemon fanatic. But with a collection like his, who wouldn't, who wouldn't want to brag a little bit? I think people are just jealous. Alright, well, suit yourself, mate. Anyway, to catching Pokemon. Cool. Its body is dry. When it gets cold at night, it, its hide is said to become coated with a fine dew. I don't think- <gasps> Charmander! I'm not passing up this opportunity. I'm gonna use a Great Ball for this. Come to me, my child. Excellent throw, please give me Charmander. Thank God for that. Charmander is mine. Nice. Charmander, oh my god. The flame at the tip of its tail makes a sound as it burns. You can only hear it in quiet places. I'm gonna name you Charlie. Not after my friend Charlie. It was so much easier for me to find a Charmander than a Bulbasaur.
an agile Pokemon that lives in trees. It angers easily and will not hesitate to attack anything. Oh yeah, I was here to trade, wasn't I? You, madam. Yes, I would love to trade my Rattata for your Rattata. Okay then. Sending Rattata over to Tatiana. Makes sense why you got a Rattata. Your name sounds similar. So we have traded our purple one for our for a grey one. Which will evolve into an Alolan Raticate. Which is basically the same except it's a darker normal type instead. Were you surprised? My Rattat is from the Alola region. Yeah, I guessed. Nice. Level 10, Psyduck. Have I still got Butterfree on my team? I might replace Butterfree with Psyduck. I think I'm going to call it Donald. <laughs> I'm going to name you Donald Duck. Because Donald Duck is a duck. And so is Psyduck. So it, it, it's a duck now. It's Donald Nice. Madam, I have fulfilled your request. Now give me Bulbasaur. But I have caught 50... I have caught 50 Pokemon. I mean 30. I, I have caught 30. But I've got 30. I don't understand. Uh, caught... Maybe any... Maybe... Maybe Pikachu doesn't count. Now you. Give it. Oh, thank you. Yes, I have 30. Thank you for Bulbasaur. I'm gonna call you Bob. Bobby the Bulbasaur. And Charlie the Charmander. It can go for days without eating a single morsel. In the bulb on its back, it stores energy. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna call you Bobby. It's like uh, Bendy in the Dark Revival. No, nope, don't like it. Doesn't suit you. I'll call you Bobby. Huh? It's very funny. Okay. It's time to do the gym. And I'm actually gonna save this time. Well, now, where is the gym? Oh, here it is. Right next to the Pokemon Center. Right then. Hello, mate. Back with your amazing bow tie. Yo, champ in the making. Misty, the gym leader of Cerulean City Gym, is a powerful trainer. You'll need a Pokemon of at least level 15. Well, sir, have I got a surprise for you. My partner Pikachu is level 17. Impressive. I see you have a Pokemon that is at least level 15. In that case, head on in, and good luck. Cheers, mate. I'm a save. In the gym. Right, let's crack on. Hello! 
madam. Appearing in a glamorous flash, my Pokemon will totally stomp you. Yeah, well, I've got the advantage here, because I'm an electric type. And I now have the move Zippy Zap, which is... Which is just gonna absolutely annihilate everyone. Also, you chose a Goldeen. Who chooses Goldeen? Come on, man. Let's have a gander at what Zippy Zap does. Wow. Wow. Goldeen is already dead. Cause it all it's always a critical hit, so that would ignore any like any stat changes as well. So it's pretty cool. Hmm, me? I'm a beautiful girl who glides on the water. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Violet. You have a shelter, okay. Come on, Stanley. These people got nothing on you. Them and their stupid shelters. What I thought. Stanley's just too good. Charlie learned Ember. Finally, a fire type move. You're soaked? Okay, please don't say that again. Right, last one before Misty. Did you see that dive just now? I don't, don't you think it's deserving of a gold medal? Uh, well, it was the exact same dive animation as the other three, so... Think what you want. You have a seal. Uh, hopefully I take out seal in one hit. Just headbutt, okay. Probably gonna wanna heal Stanley before the Misty fight. But oh well. Oh no, no, I definitely do. Because it has to know Aqua Jet, doesn't it? Stanley, do you not have the secret ability of static? I thought every Pikachu had that. My Pokemon deserve a gold medal? Yeah, well, we're gonna get one at the end of the game. Hi, you're a new face. Well, yeah. What's your policy on Pokemon? What's your approach? My policy for battle is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Misty, the world-famous beauty, is your host. My sweet Pokemon are ready, are you? Yeah, well, my policy on Pokemon is anything that has the advantage to yours. Right, only got two Pokemon, so that's fine. Send out a Psyduck. Okay, level 18. I can still outspeed you. Because Zippy Zap always goes first. Nice. You call yourself a gym leader? I just took take it out one of your Pokemon in one hit. And now we are matching levels. Unless you're gonna send out something level 20, then I might be a bit, uh... No, you don't need to know light screen. You'll be fine. Gonna send in a star me? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll stay in. See if I can one shot you again. Level 19, okay. Uh, can you use Zippy Zap? Oh, okay. Psy Wave. Ah, uh, it's not that bad. Easy win. Easy win. Bobby grew to level 13. And Fishy Boy grew to level 12. And Donald is at level 11. Nice. Wow, you're too much. Yeah, easy win. Give it. Give me the badge. Alright, you can have a Cascade badge to show that you beat me. Nice. You got a cascade badge from Miss Cascade badge makes Pokemon from level thirty from other trainers listen to you. You can also have my favorite TM, Scold. Gotta have Scold. Nice, Stanley. What do you want? 
Right, calm down. Must be in a great move mood because of that. Because it gave me a high five. Right, come here. Alright, let's move on. We must press onward. And hope Charlie doesn't fall in the water. Because that could be disastrous. Anyone gonna greet me? Gary? No? No Gary? Alright, let's heal up. There's Joy. You must heal Stanley for me. Anyway, that's the end of today. I would like to thank you all for watching. And I will see you all next time.